Network neutrality or net neutrality became a subject of national debate during 2015-16 when free basics by Facebook and Wikipedia Zero were pushed in the country. The debate got settled in October 2018 when the terms of unified license were amended to hard code net neutrality in the license telcos obtained to operate. But after almost 5 years, the debate over net neutrality has resurfaced again. Join us as we embark on an enlightening exploration of a topic that affects us all: net neutrality and OTT communication services. So the story begins with a consultation paper by the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. The paper talks about regulating OTTs providing communication services and maybe even sharing of the revenue with telecom service providers. First things first, what is OTT communication? Think WhatsApp, Telegram, Skype. These are OTTs providing communication services that let you chat and call over the internet. Net neutrality is the idea that the internet should be like a level playing field. All websites, apps and services should be treated equally without any discrimination. In India back in 2018 the Department of Telecommunication provided regulatory framework on net neutrality it upheld the principle of non discriminatory treatment subject to some exclusions and exceptions such as necessary traffic management practices specialized services like internet of things etc but why is net neutrality so important well here are some key reasons first it's about your rights You have the right to use the internet without anyone blocking or slowing down your favorite apps. Second, your privacy matters. Without net neutrality, your internet provider could peek into what you do online through methods like deep packet inspections. Third, transparency is crucial. You should know what's happening with your internet and how your internet is being managed. Lastly, net neutrality helps ensure a level playing field for startups and small businesses vis-a-vis big tech companies. Fair competition, right? But now, why are we talking about regulating OTT services? Well, there are legitimate reasons for this. One, the telecom service providers worry about losing revenue, which might affect investments in improving their services and research in emerging technologies like information centric networking. Two, There should be a level playing field between the TSPs and OTTs providing communication services in terms of regulatory compliances. 3 OTT services have been used by anti-state actors like terror groups and separatists. 4 In situations of disturbances in public order we might need to selectively block OTT apps instead of complete shutdown to maintain essential services like healthcare education through internet. So what's next we need to figure out what exactly OTT services are and how to treat them fairly it's a bit like finding the right recipe but here's the deal whatever we do it should be fair for everyone us the users and the companies providing the services moving forward there is a need to clearly define OTT services and classify them secondly to develop a fair regulatory framework through consultation thirdly address selective banning concerns within the rule of law and ensure a level playing field for all communication services provider while protecting consumer interests in conclusion as we navigate the complex landscape of net neutrality in the context of ott communication services the proposed digital india bill and the draft indian telecommunication bill should provide a fair and a transparent regulatory framework to harmonize innovation protect user rights and foster a thriving digital ecosystem in india it's essential for all policy makers stakeholders and citizens to engage in a constructive dialogue to ensure that our digital future benefits all so let's keep the conversation going stay informed and actively participate in shaping the digital governance landscape of india